Welcome back to Music Class Kids. We're talking about the instrument families. Brass, woodwind, string, and percussion. And last time, we talked about the brass family. So today, we're gonna move on to the woodwinds. Now, first of all, how did they get the name woodwinds? Well, a long time ago, all woodwind instruments used to be made out of wood. And you have to use your wind to play them. That means you have to blow into them. Now today, woodwind instruments can be made out of all sorts of things, like metal and plastic. But a long time ago, they were all made out of wood. So let's review the instrument basics. How do instruments work? Well, all instruments produce a vibration. That's what creates the sound. Then it travels through the middle of the instrument where it's hollow, that means it's empty on the inside, and those vibrations, they bounce around on the inside and they get fuller and louder. That's resonate. So, all instruments have a spot where they can resonate in the middle. And then, they're gonna have a way to change the pitch. That means it's gonna get higher and lower, okay? So let's take a look at the woodwind instruments. A few of the instruments in the woodwind family are the recorder, flute, clarinet, oboe, saxophone, and the bassoon. Let's take a look at a few of these. So I'll bring my little music book up here so you can see. And here's the woodwind family right here. So up top we've got the flute. It's the smallest, so it's going to be the highest pitched. Then you have a little flute called the piccolo. Piccolo means little, and so you can see it's about half the size of the flute. And then we've got the oboe, clarinet, English horn, the saxophone, and then here's the bassoon. You can see it's the biggest, so it's going to be the lowest pitched. So those are a few of the instruments in the woodwind family. All woodwind instruments are going to have a tube where the sound can travel through. They're going to have a mouthpiece, that's where you blow into it, and perhaps a reed. We'll look at that in just a moment. And they're going to have keys. And woodwind instruments have keys. Those are the little buttons that you press down to change the pitch. So let's go ahead and look at one of these reeds. Here's what they look like. And some of the woodwind instruments have these. And after a while, sometimes the reeds start to chip away and they start to break. That's not a big deal. You just throw it away and get you a new one, just like that. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at a recorder. Now, this instrument's been around for hundreds of years. Okay, this one's made of plastic, but they used to be made of wood. To play the recorder, you're gonna blow in right here, just like that. And some of the air is gonna, it's gonna split right here. And when that air splits, it causes it to vibrate, and that's how the recorder makes the sound. So then, if you cover these holes, you're gonna make the instrument a little bit longer, each hole you cover, and that's gonna make the pitch lower and lower, like this. You hear that? And that's how the recorder works. So, let's move on to our next instrument right here. Can you guess what it is? It's the flute. And the flute comes in three sections. Here's the middle. Then you have the foot joint that goes right here. It's called the foot because it's on the bottom. And then you've got the head joint right here. And it goes just like that. So for the flute, you hold it up sideways and you blow across this little sound hole right here. See that? And when you do, you hear that? It splits the air, causes it to vibrate, and that's how it makes a sound. And then you put the head joint on right there, get it lined up with the keys, and you're ready to go. So, that's what the flute sounds like. And then, when you cover these holes, that's gonna change the pitch. When you press down on these keys, they cover the holes for you. And that's how it works. Take a listen. Do you 
You recognize that melody? That's from Beethoven's Ode to Joy. So there's the flute. I'll put this one away. And then we'll move on to our next instrument right here. You want to guess what's in this one? If you said clarinet, you'd be right. The clarinet also comes in different pieces. So you put these two middle ones together. You've got to line up the keys. Then you put on the bell. It goes on the bottom. That makes the sound a little bit louder. And then you've got the mouthpiece, and it fits right here, just like that. So there's the clarinet. And if you're thinking, I think that's what Squidward plays, well, you'd be right. He's just not very good at it. Maybe he needs to practice. So let's take a look at this mouthpiece. There's that reed I showed you earlier. See that? When you blow on this mouthpiece, the reed is going to vibrate really fast. You hear that? That's the reed vibrating. Then when you put it into here, all those vibrations travel through the middle of the instrument. They resonate, and it makes it sound like a clarinet. And then, if you press down on the keys, that's how you change the pitch, like this. Something like that. So that's the clarinet. It's a really beautiful instrument. Okay, so we'll put this one away. And I've got one more instrument to show you. Can you guess what it is? It's this one right here. It's the saxophone. And the saxophone is kind of tricky. It's actually a lot like the clarinet, but it's made of brass. Yeah, do you remember the brass family? We learned that brass is a type of metal. Well, don't let this one trick you. It's still in the woodwind family because it's actually more like a woodwind. Why? Because it's got keys. See these little buttons? Mm -hmm. And it's got this thing. And what's that called? That's the reed. So this works just like the clarinet. See, a long time ago, there was this man and his last name was Sax. And he decided that he wanted to invent a woodwind instrument but he wanted to make it out of brass. So he invented the saxophone, and that's what we have here. Saxophones come in all different sizes. This is a soprano, which means it's shorter, so it's gonna be higher pitched. But there's also the alto and the tenor. So there's the saxophone for you. And this is used a lot in jazz music. It sounds really cool. So earlier, I told you that woodwind instruments used to be made out of wood. The flute's made out of metal, the clarinet can be made out of plastic or wood, and the saxophone's made out of brass. But wouldn't it be incredible if we could take a look at what these instruments looked like a long time ago? Well, we can, because I'm gonna magically transport these instruments back in time. So, if we went back hundreds of years ago, the clarinet used to look like this. Can you tell what it's made of? It's made of wood, and this one comes from the jungle. See, you blow right here, the sound splits right here, and then you cover these holes to change the pitch. Just like that. So that's what a clarinet looked like a long time ago. We'll put that back. How about the flute? Think I can transport this one back in time? Let's see. Worked. This is what the flute looked like hundreds of years ago. What's it made of? Wood, right. It's got a little hole right here where you can blow across. That's what splits the air. And then you have to cover these holes with your fingers. You have to seal each one up so it can change the pitch. And this one happens to be made out of a very special type of wood. You want to guess what kind? It's bamboo. And bamboo, bamboo grows really straight and it's hollow, so it makes a really good instrument. I probably wouldn't want to give this to a panda though, would I? It might think it was a snack. Let's take a listen to what the flute sounds like.
What'd that make you think of? Maybe a land really far away? Or perhaps you're going through the jungle on an adventure? That's what it makes me think of. So, there's the Woodwind family for you today. We learned about the recorder, flute, clarinet, oboe, saxophone, bassoon, and we learned how woodwinds have a tube, a mouthpiece, and a reed, and they have keys to change the pitch. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.